Hey y'all, so uh, there's something that I want to tell you. For those of you who haven't heard, and if you haven't heard, I'm sorry, but this season that we're filming of Black Lightning now is going to be the last season of the show. Um, I didn't find that out until yesterday. I found out with everybody else. I didn't know. But what I did know and have known along with the rest of the cast since before we even started shooting this season is that I am leaving the show and was leaving the show. This was gonna be my last season, regardless of if it went on or not. For different reasons that to be honest, I don't wanna go into. I just want y'all to trust me on it. Um, I didn't want to tell you until I had to. Now with this news breaking, I thought it, it would be the right time. But I knew I was going to have to tell you at some point because I only agreed to do a certain number of episodes. So I'm not in the whole season. And obviously, y'all were going to notice that given the fact that I, I've been in every episode in the past three seasons. Um, there's been a lot to happen over this quarantine. And I'm not talking about I'm not talking about the PC side of it. I'm not talking about that. These things are real. These people that are dying. In the way of the world now. It's real. And. And all this is an illusion. It's an illusion. This, this industry for what it is and everything that people look to and praise it's not important God is moving me in more than one way than just this show it's bigger than this show I'm, I'm doing God's work now. And I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it plainly. I'm not leaving because I had a terrible time working at the CW. I like the CW. I like Mark Pedowitz. I like Peter Roth, Greg Berlanti. I love Celine. I always will. He gets it. And people that actually know me, not people that I've just spent a lot of time around filming, but people that know me, they know why I make the decisions that I make. And they also know that I never make a single one of them to hurt anyone or affect anybody negatively. But I am doing God's work now. And that is all I'm doing. I don't know why I was wasting time before. The reason why I started my production company is not to like, yeah, start making moves. I have not played the game well when it comes to the standards of this industry. God is the only reason why I am where I am right now. Cause he leads me where he wants me to go and I follow him. And at times I resist him. And those are the times that I regret. Not now. Not right now. I know y'all are probably confused as to why I'm crying. There's other stuff surrounding you know, me leaving the show and the news and everything that we, that we all received yesterday. I'm trying to deal with it. Um, but I'm not crying because, because I regret leaving. I'm really not. I would have regretted staying. Because he's moving me. 
And when he calls, I'm going to follow. I don't care where he leads me. I don't care if it's in the middle of Timbuktu somewhere, living off of a couple pennies and a dime for the rest of my life with my family doing missionary work. I don't care where it is. I would leave all of this behind. And I've just made it to this point in my life now. I've just made it here during this quarantine. Everything that I learned and everything that he taught me and all of the, the spiritual journeys he led me on. It brought me to this decision. And I'm sorry if you guys are sad. I know it's a, a lot to take in. But just know that things are changing. Things are different now. It's not about this industry and about All of these things that people think are so important. It's not about those things. There's only one truth. And I'm going to live in that truth until I die. I don't care how anybody feels about it at this point. I've made my decision. I've learned a lot on this show and I'm grateful for it. And I'm, um, I'm taking a few relationships, personal relationships, only a few, away from it. But to our crew, thank you to our crew. I love our crew. I can't list you all. But thank you for, for everything that you've done for this show. And for being good to me. Thank you. And I've tried my very best. Y'all know I've tried my best. These past three seasons. To be good to y'all. I've tried. To be good to everybody. On that show. Um. Um. I'm sure some of you have noticed that over this time to where we've been, to where we've been quarantined, I've started talking about things, making videos that I didn't usually make, talking about certain, uh, certain things that I deal with and how I get through it, talking about God, talking, having some tough conversations with you guys, just because it's been put on my heart to say these things. And I want to take that same energy over into my movies. I'm creating things now for y'all. That's not to get a check. I've never made decisions based off of money. My family never has. It's not to get a check. It's to, to teach y'all something or to show you new avenues that entertainment doesn't show y'all right now. It doesn't. It doesn't. Like, movies are great, TV is great, representation is important, but we need the spirit again in these projects. I don't know where it's gone. I can only pinpoint a few now. And the rest of them hurt me to watch. The world is the way that it is right now, but a lot of people be saying they want change, but I really, I'm, I'm ready for change. I'm ready for things to change. And I want to help. I'm done teeny bopping around here. It's not about making the best next move. It's not about me. I don't care. I don't even care about that anymore. I, I want to be a part <laughs> of it. 
I want to be a part of the good. And if I'm not currently really a part of it, not just kind of sitting in one place, but helping push it forward, I don't know what I'm doing here. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Um, thank you all for supporting the show. I hope you took some some genuinely good things from it some good moments i hope that you did and congratulations to salim and jordan jordan who plays painkiller on the show just got a spinoff y'all please support him in that god did that for him and he's gonna do great i know it please embrace him with open arms and support him the show's gonna be great this chapter of my life is closing. I'm so excited for what's next. I'm excited. I've never felt more awake in my life. And when, when you're wide awake, you're more aware that things hurt you more. But you know, that's okay. Because I'd rather be awake. I'd rather live my life awake and understanding what the truth is. Because there's only one. There's only one truth. I'm gonna live in it for the rest of my life, however long I have. And nobody's gonna stop me at this point. I've made my decision. So. So, um, thank y'all. Thanks for listening to, to me. And um, y'all will know when these things start coming out of me, You'll know. I'll let y'all know. I think it's gonna help. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love you guys. You'll see me soon. <laughs>